Well, we thought it was just digital threats that Apex pros wanted to remove from the game, but it's not just pros. It looks like it's also going to be some fans that want to see this item, not the digital threat, removed specifically from ranked. Also, we're going to be talking about a nice little addition coming back into the game that you OGs are going to remember. And if you never got to play in the OG state of Apex, you're going to really be happy to get involved in this. So if you guys want to stay up to date, all things Apex Legends news related, of course, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Also, we are doing a $100 abilities only tournament September the 15th at 7 7 p.m eastern if you guys want to sign up the link will be down in the description below and also if you would like to join the discord to find some teammates and also a tutorial on how to make a team when you sign up you could just join the discord it's in the announcements a whole lot easier just do it that way but basically it's an algs style battle royale tournament except no guns just punching and abilities and nates it's gonna be super fun we do it all the time in customs so let's go ahead and dive right into the video so first i want to let you guys know that the secret door that was in the firing range that wasn't usable for quite some time and people didn't know what this was going to be what it was going to lead to well it actually may lead to something of eventually but it has now been unlocked and whenever you activate this door you can now hear some voice lines that are secret and they're apparently very emotional as well between octane and lifeline a lot of tears that are in these so if you guys obviously want to go check it out the easter egg for yourself you can go do so there's been a lot of lore lately for the octane and lifeline voice lines lately and i'm not sure if there's something leading up to that i know one of the coolest trailers that we ever got was the one with octane and lifeline together so i would really like to see some more stories unfolding with these two now i also wanted to mention something very exciting for some of you og players to maybe experience this again and if you're not og maybe you didn't get to play this i actually have some people in my community that said they came to apex legends about season six or so so i know you're gonna be probably excited to play this old version of what looks like to be the halloween event so hypermiss released this earlier and this was over on his twitter page that according to him according to data mines according to leaks whatever they're finding you can actually see that they have the artwork prepared for this upcoming halloween event and in the background is not a map update it's not a dark mode of king canyon like we used to get it's not even an old version of like one of the other maps like olympus or storm point it's actually season three version of world's edge yes the og world's edge version when the game actually had just dropped that map obviously season three was the season that that map was released anyway so it's very nice to see that this og map that a lot of people miss and want to play again could be returning for the halloween mode now i really really doubt that this was just accidentally used this old version of the map for the sake of the graphic or anything normally these things are true and normally these things are strategically placed as well so it's actually very interesting to see this now i also heard that we could be getting a dark mode of world's edge now will this be a dark mode of season three world's edge i'm not sure but obviously these things have both been reported so they could possibly be true now on the flip side even though that sounds fun even though that sounds enlightening considering we haven't had a lot of things going on as of late for apex legends there has been a lot of drama over the last couple of weeks about apex pros and content creators wanting respawn to remove a specific item that is within the game called the digital threat and obviously saying that it's not competitively balanced there's a lot of issues with this thing but it's not just the digital threat that they're calling to be removed and now they are actually calling for the heat shield to be removed and you may be thinking this is just a lot of complaining however the pros actually do already play on what's called a tournament mode inside the custom game so there's actually like tournament mode there's standard mode there's no ring mode and then there's actually custom endings which is actually what the pros really play on but tournament is very very similar so tournament actually actually disables heat shields from the game so that pros can't actually use them in the world championship and things like that so they are saying because ranked is more of a reflection of what competitive is like they actually should remove heat shield and use that tournament mode inside of ranked which i'm interested to see if you guys agree with i actually do think it would be a positive change because we need to get rid of the problem that is really plaguing the community bad right now which snipe down and other pros as well including his watson say they may start to abuse if apex doesn't fix it that is the fact that the number 12 predator is actually using this heat shield to exploit the rank system they go out into the zone they craft multiple med kits they use this heat shield so that they don't die and a lot of times they are actually able to be successful very 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 likely and number 12 predator yeah we're not talking about just getting masters and getting over the hump we're talking about being one of the top players in the world using this exploit doing no damage and just simply abusing this which they say now should not even be in ranked i'm interested to see though if you guys actually agree with these players saying that the heat shield doesn't belong in rank lastly just so we wrap the video up this is a little bit sad so apex obviously has always wanted more and more and more and more money but now they want more and more and more player retention this was noted out by hyper Miss that every recolor at the top used to cost 6,500 legend tokens and now suddenly apex has bumped up the prices to them to 10,500 now the bottom one had always been 10,500 but now they're actually making all of the legend tokens equal in the recolor so for whatever 
reason apex just decided to bump up the cost of these things and i don't really know why other than the fact that maybe they just want players to want to grind that much more so if your motivation has ever been getting a recolor so i gotta play more so i can get more legend tokens and i mean hey fair play to them i guess but i don't really feel like this is gonna work that much someone did call hyper missed out saying the recolors have always been 10,500 for a long time now this is nothing new but that actually was not true with this picture proving the fact that 6,500 used to be the normal for these top recolors now they're all 10,500 interested to see what you guys have to say about all the topics mentioned in today's video make sure to comment down below what you think like the video and subscribe to the channel if you guys did enjoy and want to stay up to date all things apex legends news related don't forget to click this video on screen right now by my editor novel who makes great apex content as well and i'll see you all in the next one take care of yourselves later gators